Hello, everyone. This is Hank Davis for UnitedPodcasters.com, the social network for podcasters. Here with a quick tip on spectral subtraction. Now, spectral subtraction is a risky noise removal feature found in most audio editing software. We'll get to why it's so risky in just a minute, but let me show you how it works. Now, I've purposely created a file that's got this annoying sound in the background throughout the entire file. Now, what I'm going to do is select with my mouse about a second of the offensive file. Then I will go to noise reduction. And I want to grab noise sample from the selected area. All right. Now I would unselect it and go back into noise reduction. And now I want to apply the subtraction, spectral subtraction based on the noise sample. And then I'm going to just do a time lapse because this does take a while. All right, we are back. And now you'll notice that that offensive noise that was in the background has been removed throughout the file. Now, this is why it's risky. How much of the noise it rem did it remove that I actually would like to have kept into the file? <laughs> and also, it can leave this awful, awful artifact like like an underwater noise, like you're sitting next to a fish tank or something in the background, in its place, it, it can leave that. And then once that's in there, your file might be ruined. But if you have an offensive noise that you just can't live with, why don't you give spectral subtraction a try and just use it only in cases of dire need. Because more times than not, it's just going to mess up your file, corrupt your file more than the offensive background noise will. Well, I hope this has helped somebody out there. And be sure to tune in as we look at the other noise removal features on audio editing programs. Until next time.